Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. And for whatever reason, my brain was thinking Distant Worlds Universe, but that is not what it is. Um, we are desperately trying to end this war with, uh, with, um, are they coming here to blockade this? Looks like they are. Um, yeah, we're desperately trying to end this war with Spain. A war that we've won, but for whatever reason, won't ever actually end. It'd be nice if I could just get my guys to swim over to Malta here so we could capture it. Um, but that's not going to happen. Let's see if I can entice these guys to change locations. Um, not looking like that's happening. 15 heavies just chilling there. All right, so they don't want to come after me. Yeah, I'd really like to, you know, get over here to Malta. You know, check out the Maltese Falcon. I wonder if we're going to try something here. This is going to be a little foolish, but we're going to come out here. Um, we are not accepting, or, um, why aren't we fighting? That is weird. I don't get why we didn't fight there, but, uh, all right. Here's what we're going to do, guys. So these guys are going up to the Adriatic. We're going to see if we can unload these troops into Malta. We can also um, upgrade our Diplo Tech. Um, we're not going to at the moment, but we can. All right, so they're chilling there. Let's go. Make this quick. Transport into Malta. You will get there. Can you? Can you? No, you can't. You will get there on the 17th... No, 21st of February. Yeah, we're going to be fucked if we try to do that. You stop. Oh, you can force march off the boat. Interesting. Right now, if you come here, you'll get here on the 9th of February. Probably still not good enough. Um, They're going back to the Ionian Sea. Or the Straits of Otranto. Interesting. I'm making sure there's no, like, random Spanish navy around here. It looks like we're going to get off these boats. Alright, cool. So we did get off these boats. I'm also going to now land these, these ships. You can uh, stop the forest marching. Alright, so we might be able to at least siege Malta. So something will happen in the stupid war. Meanwhile, um, we are losing everything over here. This isn't going too well. We're going to need to help out our guy before rebels conquer everything here. But that's not going anywhere soon. And France won't goddamn end their stupid war. That's the big annoyance here. Is that France just won't peace out of this war. What the hell do they want from this war? Oh good, we changed the culture of Kef. That's cool. Welcome to uh, being Lombard. I guess we can turn um, Susi into Lombard. Sure, why the fuck not? Are you guys all distance overseas? Overseas provinces can't have autonomy, but that's not distant overseas, and that's not distant overseas. Interesting. Yeah, I know my guys want peace. I would like peace as well. But France does not want to goddamn end the goddamn war. Finally. Spain will give these cores to Morocco. They renounce these claims on things. They cede this to France. Looks like we get nothing out of the uh, deal here. So basically, they gave this to France and said, you guys give up your claims on this shit. Oh, they gave up Moroccan territory as well. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, you guys get back on the boats. We need to go help our, our, our buddies over here with these peasant problems. Um, did we finish this province yet? No. Yeah, we need to help our buddies over here with their peasantry problems. Colony damage and Santarum. Yeah, I know. I got to take care of those guys. But first, I need them to um, 
You guys coming to, to... I was really hoping we'd get Malta out of this deal. But we didn't. That's fine. At least the war's goddamn over. I'd like to go to war with... Uh, get over here, ASAP. We got, we got rebels to take care of. Um, do I care if the Hurons think of me? Absolutely not. Do I want to go to war with these guys? Absolutely soon. Um, do I want to check out uh, the rest of this shit over here? I want to conquer a bunch of Tripoli. I want to conquer much more of Venice. Um, if I went to war with Venice, by the way, all my allies would come in. All their allies would come in, which means we'd be back at war with Spain and Austria. That's not good. What about Austria? I went to war with them. Venice, Lee. So a bunch of crappy nations would come in, and it would, Austria would come in. Why am I no longer allied with Lorraine? Is it because they, we're in a personal union together? We are. Okay. That's so why we can no longer be allies. Because they're a subject. The Hansa don't like us. Um, let's improve relations with them. If they did like us, would they go to become our ally? Number of great power allies for Italy would really cause problems here, but at least let's make them like us. I would like to go to war with uh, Austria over here. That would be really good, I think. Get Tyrol out of the deal. What is what is the French military strength at? Um, also, our war exhaustion is probably crappy. Let's reduce the war exhaustion because we have the Diplo points to do it. Let's do it again. Bye-bye war exhaustion. I don't want to boost my stability yet because I want to get that last idea. Really want to go to war with these guys. Um, military, ledger, armies. This is what I'm looking for. France has 70,000 manpower. Austria only has 40,000 men. Venice only has 20,000 men. Yeah, this would be a good war to get us into. I just need to get over here with these men to take care of these rebels. Alright, cool. Let's get our final... The Inquisition. Beautiful. Um, should really look at the policies that I have available to me. Uh, global tariffs, religious unity, trade efficiency. Now, how do, what do policies do again? Bargo efficiency, morale of armies, and discipline. This is a good one. This is also a good one. If I take this, I spend one military power each month. So instead of gaining four, I would gain three. I have one too many leaders. Um, that's fine, but I should be able to now convert provinces. Yes. Start converting all the provinces back to, uh, the correct, the correct values. What was that one that would give me plus 4%? If I adopted, um, one of these here, this, there was one here that would have given me... Is it gone? Embrace the Counter-Reformation, I think it was called. I guess I, I lost my ability to, to, my option to do that. Interesting. Anyway, um, besides Nice, we don't have a lot of, of uprising risk. So once this fleet gets here with the guys, we want to uh, expand over here as well. So let's send a colonist... Uh, yeah, send a colonist right here. Cool. And then I want you to be led by one of my conquistadors. Beautiful. Did the rebels leave? The rebels left. Or were destroyed. Alright, cool. So what I want to do is just briefly um, explore this land. And this is where my colonist is going to show up. Yeah, let's just to kill the natives off here. Um, I'm going to kind of ignore this other colony down here. It should eventually just finish doing its thing. I want to get this boat over here because I'm going to need these men for this war against Venice slash Austria that I'm going to do here in a minute. Um, 
We'll tax it. So it looks like um, the 13 colonies have expanded pretty greatly into the northern part of North America. Uh, and I'm going for the southern part of North America. So yeah, we will we'll loop back around towards towards this colony that we're getting here. Cool. So yeah, this is going this is going decently well, I would say. Oh, Sweden loves us. Beautiful. So once these boats get here, I'm gonna get my guys up on into this region. Reform Zealots. They are not happy with us. Uh, how close are we to getting um, the next tech? Not very close. Let's spend the military points to lower the rebel, rebel risk here. Damn rabble rousers. Damn rabble rousers. Oh, it's because you're not very good as a militarician. Do we have, oh, no, cancel that. Is there anybody else to hire, just out of curiosity? No. Not anybody worth their salt. What did I want to do? Oh, yeah, lower the um, stability and expansion. I wanted to handle the reform zealots. So there we go. Um, in about... Um... Seven and a half years, that will end. Okay, good. Cool. Now I want you to get across here. I don't know if going to Rome is the best idea. In fact, probably not, but whatever. Now who wants to... Oh, it's the same goddamn reform zealots. It's because of Nice. Nice is the number one problem. Do I want to get another war galleon? Sure, let's get another war galleon. Our navy is slowly building up. Why aren't you coming? Why aren't you coming up here? Yeah, you're supposed to be coming up here and joining with this army so that we can go to war with, um, with Provence. I mean, with Austria. And now I will spend this. Allows client states and advanced cast a spelly. Naval attrition is no longer increased by staying out of sea each month. Naval maintenance goes up. Get better ships. Oh no, our royal marriage with France has ended. Come on, France. Get your head in the game. Alright, I'll do it myself. Oh, god damn it, France is at war with somebody. Who are you fucking at war with? Tidori. I don't even know who fucking Tidori is. I guess I could do this the old-fashioned way. Apparently, France is involved in the um, Australian colonization game and is at war with somebody over here in Australia. Spain is taking over this. That's interesting. Good old Nepal still in existence. Ethiopia is still ridiculous. Anyway, let's um, get this war going. France should still be willing to come in on the war. What I want to do, though, is get a royal marriage. And then I also... Are you a republic? No, you're a monarchy. No diplomats to send. They wouldn't accept a royal marriage anyway because they don't like us. And they wouldn't want an alliance. Is there anybody who would want a royal marriage or an alliance? Ansbach, maybe. Lithuania. They are upset with us, and our great power allies would cause us all sorts of problems. Hmm. So you don't want a royal marriage. That's too bad. At least at the moment. Out of curiosity, when this ticks up to 49 here, 
Did that change this? It does. It does change this. So as these guys get happier with us, the likelihood that they'll at least accept a royal marriage will go up. But I think we want to get into this war. So if I declare war, Bohemia will not protect them. France will not come in on the war because France is in debt. God damn it, France. When does this thing expire? 1662. Got plenty of time on that one. 1660. Not so much time on that one. Not happy with you right now, France. Not happy at all. Oh, and we lost the guy that was providing us, um... We lost the guy that was providing us a stability, actually, which is bad. Yeah, look, everybody's upset with us now. Do we have guys in Wallace? No, we're gonna have to put guys in Wallace. Um, so we're called the Hanseatic Diplomat because we've maximized what we could possibly do here. No royal marriage is possible. Royal marriage is possible with these guys. No alliance is possible because they don't like us. So we could ally Ansbach. We're not going to get any better allies, I think. They are military tech 20. Alright, so let's get a royal marriage with Ansbach. That will get us the most royal marriages we need, and then we'll get an alliance with Ansbach. Come on. So yeah, now we're going to have an alliance with Ansbach. Really want to get into this war with uh, these guys. We're converting Nice, right? Nice and Ferrara. Ferrara. Get over here. And you, my friend, you should be in port. Why aren't you in port? You need to come pick up this army. Oh, first, we already took out these guys. Yeah, all right. So you come down here. We need to pick up that army and drop them off back at the uh, other colony to take care of those disruptive natives. Did all our fleets get destroyed? We lost a fleet. Yeah, we lost a, uh, a fleet somewhere in here. So we'll have to take care of that. Who are you at war with? What is going on? Somebody is blockading here. Karibas apparently is blockading. But they're not at war with anybody. Weird. Well, we need to build another um, trade fleet, I guess, while we're while we're waiting. Look at all these potential rebels. Look at all these potential rebels causing us all sorts of issues. Alright, so we'll build some light ships. And we're going to wait. And we're not happy that we're waiting. But we are going to wait. Hopefully Venice will win their stupid war with Tidori over here. Tidor. There's Tidor. 0 0.8 French are fighting the Tidor and they lost. God damn it, Tidor. Or God damn it, France. Don't be stupid. Damn it, France. I want a war. And I can't go to war. Even though I could probably support the war on my own. Um, it's so much easier when... When France is there. So much easier. Oh, let's, um... Let's mothball this navy. That should make them not nearly as expensive. And then once, um... Oh, 
once the last ship shows up. We'll send that one out, and then we'll end this episode with thoughts of going to war in our future. Caribbean. Yeah, go get me some trade power in the Caribbean. God damn it. I'm gonna have to go take care of this stupid, these stupid rebels. Stupid, you know, I guess. You guys know what I'm trying to say. The natives. Why are you over there? The Aztecs still exist? Interesting. They do still exist. Alright, anyway, so this is where we're going to end the episode. I thank you guys very much for watching. On the next episode, we're going to kill ourselves some natives down here. And we're probably going to go to war with Venice and Austria. But until then, I will see you all next time.